In Flash, the masking layer can be any shape or any symbol. After creating a mask, it can be animated as well. To get started, let's import an image which will be used as the basic element on which we will do the masking. Once the image is imported, position it according to your requirements. For this tutorial, let's keep it at the center of the canvas. Now let's create a new layer in the timeline. With that done, right-click to open up the contextual menu and choose the Properties option. Over here, select the Mask option. Notice that as soon as you select the Mask option, the layer's icon changes. This icon denotes the mask layer. With Layer 1 in selection, right-click to open up the context menu. Over here, choose the Properties option. With that done, a new window will open up. Over here, select the Masked option. With that done, Layer 1 will be treated as the masked layer and Layer 2 will be treated as the masking layer. Now let's choose the shape you want to mask the layer with. The shape will be the visible area over here. Let's choose the Oval tool and draw a circle. With that done, let's place it on the left side of the stage at the start of the word of the image. Also, do remember to convert the shape to a symbol by right-clicking and opening the context menu. Now let's animate our mask layer. For that, select the first frame of the second layer where the oval shape is drawn and in the context menu, choose the Motion Tween option. Now click on the 40th frame and let's insert a keyframe. Do remember to insert a keyframe on the 40th frame of the first layer as well. In the second layer, on the 40th frame, expand the oval to cover the part of the image that should be visible at the end of the animation. Over here, the whole word will be visible at the end, so let's expand the oval shape accordingly. And that's it! Now let's view the animation. You can see that over here, the masking is done in the shape of the oval over the image.